Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you with a pretty wicked tutorial. I'm pretty proud of this one. Uh, basically what happened was we are going to do a fully automatic baked potato factory. This thing is pumping baked potatoes. Holy cow. Check out the furnace. Constantly full and then check out this hopper. You can see it's going non-stop. These poisonous potatoes basically... It's very rare that one will ever make it into the furnace and stop it, but every once in a while you should jump in here and probably pop those out. Uh, other than that, this thing is literally making them, basically this villager is making it faster than the furnace can cook. Uh, I'm not even going to extend it, basically whenever you're at a high point, just turn it off. You know, I'm going to go turn this one off because that clicking is pretty annoying. Uh, but easily turned off and now it'll just cook away baked potato factory uh, juggalo gamer I think it was juggalo gamer on Twitter uh, showed a picture of kind of a farm similar to this one with an automatic wheat uh, but with potatoes and then there was a cycler that would go through uh, every three days and bake the potatoes and I was like okay you know I took that into mine and then I looked at something closer to like this bread factory this farm right here is a tutorial i did a matter of months ago and it's an actual bread factory using this villager mechanic kind of where it throws uh but that said we did this one a little bit easier actually it is not too super difficult uh just using one villager here you know what honestly this thing is one of the most volume farms I've done in a long time so hopefully this won't be too long of a tutorial uh, we're just gonna make one right behind here and I hope it works good I'm starting to have honestly too many villagers here they're all like villager slaves farming away uh, so let's start basically with this one guys let's, let's just start with a nine on the ground one two three one two three one two three and that's how you're gonna start this bad boy so first things first I'm gonna go grab a few of the things there's going to be a, a variety of stuff, so let me tell you what you need. You need seven hoppers, one furnace, one minecart hopper, one fence, two half slabs, one dispenser, one dropper, one dust, one lever, one comparator, one dirt, one ice, and a torch to melt that ice. Of course, guys, you're going to need a bunch of bone meal uh, for this, and then uh, a, f a fair amount of potatoes basically to throw into the farm uh, to start this on its way. Uh, so that they can grow and the farmer can do his thing. So those things are a little extra, but let's get into this process here. So first things first, we're going to put our dirt in the mill here. But what we want is to have a block here and a block here. And then what we're going to do is melt our ice now. So all I do for that is I do this. And then what I do is I throw a torch right here. It's going to melt that ice and then the ice will stay put in its spot. So let's go over here and actually build this farm up a little bit from the back. I just do this at the at the start to try to get it going so grab yourself your dispenser your dispenser is going to come in from this side and your dropper is going to shoot up from this side whoops your dropper is going to shoot up from this side one up right there so dropper and there we go once we've done that I can make a few spots available in my inventory now so now let's grab some dirt we're gonna need some good old-fashioned dirt grab the dirt the dirt's gonna go here that's good that works for me and then now what we're gonna do is grab a comparator throw a comparator right there grab a redstone dust redstone dust goes here and then what we're gonna do here guys is Let's go ahead and make a mini hopper clock type jobber uh, by doing this and this. Grab yourself a hopper, put it into the ground right there. Crouch place, put it into that guy, and then crouch place one into that guy too. So now you can see they're, t they're together joined. Let's get rid of this torch now that everything is uh, hunky-dory. And we have our dispenser for that stuff. We have this here. We have this here. This is where our lever is going to go uh, right here. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start this thing going. Put one item in here. We'll use one poisonous potato. And it's going to go back and forth. We aren't really too uh, worried about the redstone aspect just yet because we still got to just go around here. So once this is done, let's go ahead and start with our furnace. Furnace is going to go here. We're going to want to put hoppers are going to go so let's watch this we're just going to put first hopper goes into here next one goes into here next one goes into here so now we're just going to go over here and fix one thing i put this comparator the wrong way put this comparator this way 
because basically what will happen is when something goes there now, it's going to send a signal to the back. Let's grab it out. We know we'd be, you know, we'd be cooking comparators in here. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and grab a redstone torch. Go down here. Looks good to me, looks good to me. I'm just going to go do a quick uh, rendezvous in the front. Basically, the key to success to finish this guy up right here is this redstone dust right there. So, go to the front here. Let's throw a half slab on this joint and put some redstone dust there. Perfect. So, now we should be cooking with gas. Hmm. Oh, one more right here on top of that. Uh, one more right here on top of this guy. And now we finished our circuit. I knew it was something funny, you know? This one was in the moment. I totally was like, I'm going to make a big potato factory. So now we should be ready to go. This should be ticking off. And there we go. That's exactly what we wanted right there. This guy goes here, goes to here, goes to here. Okay, so cool. Let's turn this off because it gives me a headache. Turned it off. Okay, so if you want to add things to this, so first of all, this is going to be your bone meal dispenser. So these aren't in the materials, but honestly, if you're going to want to, if you're going to want to do this in bulk, you're going to want to add a double chest to that guy and even maybe a double chest to this guy. Uh, it's quite possible. So let's just grab one chest for each side. Let's jump in the air, put this guy down here, put this guy down here. So there you go. Basically, this is bone meal and potatoes. Let's just go grab a stack of each of those guys, a stack of bone meal, and a stack of potatoes. And let's just do it. Bone meal potatoes again i hope you have a mob grinder if you're doing this guys and then you will have all the bone meal in the world what we're going to do right now is go ahead and grab a fence gate throw this fence gate right on top of here perfect that looks good to me this fence gate goes there that's good you could grab your glass you know if you wanted to put some glass here now i'm going to start grabbing some glass and closing this up I didn't put any glass in the description, guys, or in the things you'll need, uh, because the rest of it's all decoration. So at the end of the day, I told you what you needed to make most of it. So <laughs> let's not mess around. Basically, guys, you're going to need a villager in that hole right there. You're going to need a farmer villager. I think basically what's happening here is I've been saying this a lot uh, because I've done multiple builds with these farmers and the new kind of update has given us these farming villagers which have been totally awesome personally uh, and so we're going to need a farmer villager so the way I do that here you're you're going to need a brown coat whatever it is that you do to do that um, actually one thing I'm going to do first is let's go ahead and put our minecart with hopper uh, right over here so what we're going to do is do that by putting this guy here grab a rail Minecart with hopper. Put the minecart with hopper and bust the fence. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to actually, you're going to take a good ender up here. We're going to try to move that bad boy up forward a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. We're going to try to go up here and move him. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. You see how you can't jam him anymore? That's exactly where you want it. So now we're going to finish what we're doing with uh, the good old fashioned floor. We're going to grab ourselves the villager that we need. Basically, guys, we need a farmer villager. Pretty easy. Grab a farmer villager. I'm going to grab a sword right now because that's how this one's going to go down. I could tell already. And throw him in here. So this one here is not going to be a farmer. He's probably a leather worker. Uh, I don't know the specifics. All As far as I know, most brown coats will work good. Uh, I just wait till I get a farmer because so many people are going to be like, that doesn't work, Skippy, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, oh, no, we got massive babies jumping around. Let's go. Let's keep going. 
But in survival, it's pretty easy. You can make a villager farm, a villager spawner. There's tons of way to do this, but I've seen much more difficult. Uh... You know, it always does this every time I do it. You know, when I make one before, when I make one before the tutorial, it takes the first one I ever get it every time. But then, as soon as I make the tutorial, I'm like going through them all day long. I bet that's a good priest too. Who knows? But I just look for a solid brown coat. That's going to save you this the trouble. I don't think that guy's going to cut it. Nope. Basically, a solid brown coat is what we need here. I'm telling you. Ah, there we go. Fletcher is a farmer, but basically you want this solid brown coat. Once you've done that, we're good. Did I put potatoes in here? Let's... turn this off see what I did right there so basically I'm just gonna leave it off for now we'll start this guy up after uh, so pop this guy under drop your villager in make sure that you put a half slab on his head and we're good so now that we've done this we're like okay so we need this villager to start planting right so that's actually not very hard as you just saw what I did right there is we just got to give him one seed so Let's go ahead and till the ground that he's on, which is pretty easy by going over here. Till the ground he's on, so now he can plant. What you do is hit this thing. Okay, so the challenge that I had here, trying to be fancy with my glass, is we just got to make sure that there's a solid block in front of this guy. That's going to be the key to success, and this will start working perfect right now. And there we go. I was just kind of trying to get the glass in the front and trying to make it match up. But as you can see, this is going to be growing. He's going to smash it. We're going to have potatoes here in no time as soon as we get these rails out of here. And then that's going to repower that back there. So now what we got to do is just uh, make ourselves a little area for fuel. So what I do is go like this. Put this guy into this chest right here. Go right here. Grab a chest. Put the chest right here. And then uh, fill that bad boy with uh, coal. And you are now ready to party. We put this guy here, this guy here. And there you go. It's a baked potato factory ready to go. Um, you can dress this up in whatever way you desire from this point forward. And build it up. Make it look pretty, unpretty, whatever you want. Uh, and there you go, guys. Not too shabby, not too shabby. That is a automatic baked potato factory. I hope you like it, Juggalo. Uh, like I said, yours looked really cool and kind of inspired me. I was like, okay, I can make that with one of these guys here. And But as you can see, it's a little bit annoying with the ticking, but not really because honestly, it's already at the point where like, I have to shut it off. If you can look, there's tons. We still got stacks of potatoes here. The only thing you got to do, guys, is keep in mind a random poisonous potato will come through. And when that happens, that's actually okay. Uh, because it will start its own slot in this hopper and basically the only way that you're gonna get a poisonous potato in the furnace is gonna be because you run all of them out and you'll find yourself with a solo stack here uh, that said I think once every day or two just go in there and take the poisonous potato out and you're good uh, worst case scenario you'll notice that this stops working you'll be like hey what happened you go over here just take them out and it will keep going look Dude, this, I don't even know what you're going to do with all these potatoes, but it works pretty easy. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, automatic Big Potato Factory. Don't forget to smash the like. Don't forget as well to subscribe and do all those things that all the YouTubers ask you to at the end of their videos. And, uh, oh yeah, catch on the next one.